good evening. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over Tiffany, aka Chucky's bride. And I'm also naturally a redhead, so I'm naturally Chucky. Just in case you guys want to see me in my natural state. I'll link for Chucky in the description below, as well as one of these corners. I'm not sure which corner it appears in. All the products that you say be listed somewhere around the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Prime your eyeballs. Using the Made You Look eyeshadow brush in the Lorac Pro Palette and then going in with a very light color. Using the Made You Look eyeshadow brush, I'm applying a very light cream color underneath my brow as well as in my inner corner. I'm then using the color Goji from the Lorac Palette, which is like a light red, and applying that in my crease in both sides. I'm then going back in over that with a purple eyeshadow. You can also bring this color down onto your lid because why not? I'm also applying that red eyeshadow underneath my eyes as well. Taking black shadow and then applying that to my lid and a little bit underneath my lower lash line. A little bit of Lexrosis. Create a very small cat eye eyeliner using the Night Owl eyeliner. If you're nervous to commit to your brows right away, you can fill them in using a lighter color and then go in with the black liner. If your brows are thick and dark, you're gonna wanna cover them first using a washable glue stick. Key word being washable. I'm then applying black body paint to my lips and filling in the beauty mark that I already naturally have. That was convenient. To make my face more plastic looking, I'm going in with a Benefit highlighter, which oh my God, I'm obsessed with. And I just put it all over my face. To continue with the doll theme, I'm then contouring with brown shadow, adding a little slight, slight furrow to my brows, going down my nose and really rounding out my cheeks. To finish up your face, you could also apply some false lashes and add a highlight to your lip. Although in this outfit, Tiffany has a Tiff necklace on, I really wanted to keep the actual collar because I favor that over the necklace. I'm applying black body paint and then shading that using gray eyeshadow, adding a white highlight to the top of it as well as a little bit throughout it, and using silver body paint to create the little jewel in the middle. I'm also defining my collarbone using a light brown shadow. For our outfit, the first thing I want to do is lay down a base, so I'm adding white body paint and then adding black body paint where the jacket's gonna go. To get somewhat of a leathery texture, I'm going in using white body paint and just dabbing it on on where the collar is going to go on the jacket. I'm also using this same texture to add some highlights within the collar. Use a detail brush and white body paint to further define some shines within the leather. I also added on the black part for the back of the jacket. Using silver body paint, add your zippers and your buttons. And if you want to highlight the jacket more, you can do that using white body paint. To shade underneath the jacket, as well as the shirt she's wearing, I'm using gray eyeshadow and just going around the edge and doing a little bit of detail work on the shirt itself. Of course, we cannot forget Tiff's tattoo. I'm using red body paint to fill in the heart, then adding a little dagger in it. And on the actual Tiffany doll, there is Chucky above this, but if you're going to be doing this, you're going to be doing it backwards in the mirror. 